Hey everyone, it's time for the Manchar at Home. And what we're doing today is we are looking at pine trees and especially pine cones. I want to introduce you to this red pine. They're out here at the Montshire on the Ridge Trail. And red pines are really special pine trees. They have bark that looks like pieces of puzzles. They have way up high the longest pine needles in Vermont and New Hampshire. And what I want to show you today is what's happening way up high in the pine tree. Because often when we think of pine cones, we only think of them when we find them on the ground. But up high, a lot of things are happening. The pine cone we often think of is the female pine cone. It's the pine cone, you can see how woody it is right here, that protects the tiny seeds of a pine tree. Inside each of these scales, will rest a tiny winged seed to make a new pine tree. But this pine cone, when we find them hard and open like this on the ground, those are about two years old. They've done their job and they've fallen off the tree. But if we could climb up this tree, let's take a look at what the pine cones look like when they're alive way up high in a tree. First of all, those pine cones that are the females when they start off growing, they're really small. Let me show you this one. Right there is a young female pine cone. In their first year, they're only about that big. They're tightly closed, they're covered in sap to keep the seeds safe inside. And to grow those seeds, this female pine cone needs a male pine cone too. And most people don't think of these tiny male pine cones as part of the tree. Let me show you what they look like. They are hidden. Oh, there they are. I found them. They're really, really tiny. There they are right there. Let me pluck one off so you can see it. And these are the tiny male pine cones. They're the ones that make all of the yellow pollen that floats through the air in the summertime. And unlike being that hard woody structure, like the female pine cone, the male pine cone here, you can see how much smaller it is. It's also very soft. I can squeeze and that female hard woody pine cone is still there. But the male, I can open it up and you can see all of the small bits where the pollen is cupped floating away right there. Now, for these pine cones to work, that pollen has to float through the air on the wind, land on one of the small female cones, and once it's fertilized, it will take two years to finish growing until it opens up, lets those tiny winged seeds out, and they float to the ground in the forest to make a new pine tree. Now the red pine has those cute, charming little pine cones, but there are other types of pine cones out there too, Different types of pine trees and conifers, trees with needles, make lots of different types of pine cones. I want to show you two of my favorite. Now you can't find them here in New England. These are from California. Now, just to give you a sense of size, this next pine cone is the heaviest pine cone in the country. It comes from a coulter pine in California. And another pine cone from California is a lot smaller. But this tiny little pine cone right here comes from the biggest conifer in the country, in the world. This is the pine cone of a giant redwood tree. So from red pines to redwoods to culture pines, a lot of different type of pine cones going on out there. Your challenge today is to head out, go collecting some pine cones, check out the activity sheet for different ways and different things to look for on your pine cone scavenger hunt. Have a great time in the woods.